Hey guys, it's Mama J. Hey, Inspector. We're here with three different mystery items. We have a mystery box from Sassy Cajun. We have, which I believe was fifty dollars. Okay. We have a mystery box from Shumi, which was for an autographed pop. This one was a hundred dollars. And then this box was a Bands for Arms. Can you turn it? They just got the picture, I think. Like, what is this called? An ammo box? Yeah, it's an ammo crate. Yeah, and then inside here there's a pop and a I think a band and I think a challenge coin. Okay. I think that's what's supposed to be in here. All right, guys, so we're going to open these up, see what we got. Which one would you like to start with? Uh, start with the ammo box. Okay. Because ammo boxes are really cool. All right, go ahead. Should have probably given this to my data to figure out how to open it. I could have figured that out. Thank you very much. All right, and oh. I'm going to assume this is your pop. Okay, so this is the pop, and it says, good luck, and thank you so much for supporting our military. And you'll see it is wrapped by bands for arms. So here's the ticket for the band. Okay. And uh, here's the band with the electron in it. What is on the front of the band? Electra. Oh, okay. And it's from Master Sergeant Ron Van Arsdale, U.S. Air Force from Lancaster, California. Served for 24 years. Wow. And his hobbies and interests are disc golf and baking. Oh. So that's super cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. We have quite a few of these. Um, I have a lot of Wonder Woman ones. And uh, what else is in there? Uh, oh. And then the challenge. And looks like we're sticking with the Air Force theme. And we move the ammo can down here. And we have the United States Air Force Buy War Bonds Keep Them Flying challenge coin. So there's the Air Force logo. So that's really cool. Yeah. Now, we did buy these back during Valentine's, I believe, because these were the Valentine's boxes. I know that you just picked this up last time you went. Honestly, I almost forgot we ordered it. <laughs> so, let's see if Mama J knows. Do you know what they do with challenge coins? Well, I know you could throw it on the table when you want to challenge somebody something. Yes. But I don't know what you're supposed to be challenging. Them. The general thing is you take out your coin and you put it on the table. Whoever doesn't have a challenge coin on them has to buy everyone at that table a soda or beer. And what if everybody has a challenge coin? Then whoever initiated the challenge. Oh, okay. All right, so let's open up the pop, see what we got. I know you like to read the boxes. It says Big Red. Big Red, standing by. We got a pack of gum. <laughs> what we got. Now, this box was, I think, 40 or 45, and the, it was supposed to be guaranteed value. I'm not sure if the guaranteed value is on the pop or everything together. Ready? Yep. Oh. It's upside down. It's upside down. Oh, what is this? Adore Delano. Adore Delano. Is this a drag queen? Oh, yes. yeah. It says right there, drag queen. I'm huh. too punk to wash my thighs. That's what it's. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm too punk to wash my thighs. Um, I'm a censored Libra. She looks censored bomb, calm, bored, UK. I'm polish remover. Sickening collector issue. Pretty cool back though. Back is pretty cool. Yeah, the back is really cool. So uh, let's do a quick value check on this and see if we made value, which we should have. We usually do when it comes to Nick. What so you looking much, at? So much makeup on the pop. Well, because it's a dude dressed as a woman. I know. And this pop is valued at $37. Oh, wow. So like I said, I think the guarantee was like 40 or 45 but we did get a band, and we got a challenge coin, and you got an ammo box. Yeah. So. And I know this particular ammo box is about 15 20 bucks, depending on where you buy it. Yeah, it's really, and it has his logo on it. Yeah. 
So, oh well, sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. But still, either way. But still really cool. Alright, so put that back in there. You might want to turn it sideways or it won't fit. You want to keep the band on? Yeah, I might as well keep the band on. Put this in there so we don't lose it. Alright, so would you like to go with Shumi or Sassy Cajun next? Well, let's go with Sassy. Alright, let's go with Sassy. Okay, trying to peek and cheat. Well, I was trying to see. One is in a box, but the other two I don't think are. So um, I'm not. I don't know if it in the box means it's better. I'm grabbing so, that one. Well, that's why we would save that one for last. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm grabbing it. Pull it out. You think after all this time he would know? Oh, I got one that you're probably gonna want. It's from one of your favorite TV shows, and it's a diamond. It's Sophia. It's not one of my favorite TV shows. You love the Golden Girls. I, I watch the Golden Girls. It's I do like it, but it's not in a top favorite at all. Oh, here we go. It's a 424 is $25. And, oh, yeah, oh no. Look, there's another one in the box. I was looking to, oh wait, here it is. I was looking to see if there was a Sassy Cajun sticker. We did get, oh look, she, she knew that you were going to be here. We got two dum-dums. And a Sassy Cajun business card. So, you want the one that's worth $9 or 7 Oh, you think? Oh, so that was probably the good pop then. Normally the good pops are the ones that are in the boxes, so I'm a little confused. So I have Trash Panda. Well, I doubt that's what you have. But go ahead and show. For $7, I got a 20-year anniversary Bob's Big Boy. That's really funny, because I think I've gotten a Bob's Big Boy from Sassy before. <laughs> Alright, so this one said how much? Seven. And I hate these boxes. Oh wait, but this one was seven. Yeah, so I don't know. Alright, well let me see what this one is. This one it this one's 14. And this one is Kevin Malone from Oh he has the tissue shirt. The office. So 14, what was that? 25? That's 39, and how much was yours? Seven. So 45. Okay. So, right, we don't need to really check value since they Which were was on what? there. 50 bucks for the box, you said? 50 plus shipping. Okay. Um, this is a keeper because she's diamond. But, um, and only because I have rose already. If I was a big fan, I'd have them all. Anyways, so let's move those over to that side. Where are we going to check? No, I told you we're not going to check. We already looked. Yeah. Um, so those were from Sassy Cajun. Now, Shumi, this was a $100 mystery box. It does come with an autographed pop. What pop was it? Uh, Shikamaru from Naruto. Yeah, and the thing is, it comes with a pop, a postcard, and a pin. The pop and the postcard both are autographed. Now, the catcher is the pop is one of those encapsulated pops. Yeah. Where it's actually graded. being graded and encapsulated. We don't own any of those, so we thought what better way to check one out than to order a mystery box with one on something you'd want. Yeah. So we're gonna cut open this shoe box and see what we got. And inside the box is another box. And inside the box, there's another box. It is heavy though. Yeah. Um, let me look in it before you do. Okay. You want me to cut it? Yeah, probably. Why are you like, having The box issues? is being weird. He's special. opened it from the wrong side. Alright, so here's the pen. Oh, it's a uh, glow-in-the-dark shoe pen. That's kind of cool. That is cool. And here's your card. Oh, out of the two, this was the one I was kind of hoping I got. 
So we got him using a Shadow Possession Jutsu. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know what it's graded. It's wrapped up. Don't be. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess it just slides out. Yeah. And did you get one of the tents? What does it say? Nope, you did not. Okay. Guess I did not. But that is really cool, though. That is pretty cool, huh, I see. Yeah, because I think if it was a 10, it had a thing here saying it was a 10. Um, but... I can see some scuff marks on the window. Yeah, so it wasn't a 10, but it says Shadow Possessions. Shadow Possessions are too complete. Is that what that is? Yeah. It's a pretty cool pop, though. So it is, it is encased. And it has the certificates right there and a little sticker right here. Um, so this is one of those things. I'm sure you could probably take this apart somehow. But, I mean, no point in it, but... So what do you think? Um, you know, this is actually a lot cooler looking in person than I anticipated it looking. Yeah, I think so too. Because I was a little worried about it being really bulky and kind of awkward. Yeah, it does have But it's like, really not. That little... Lip lip up here really isn't that much no and honestly like if we got more like this like i'll be perfectly okay with that because this is actually really cool the qr code on the back here see if i scan it and it either takes you to this specific pop or to the website I'm guessing it probably pop. takes you to the website so that you can get the authentication that it is legit yeah but really, still pretty cool. Yeah, I love signed pops. The The more I get, the more I like them. I'm not going to go out of my way to get them, but this was really cool to get. Yeah, that was really cool. Really, really cool. So, and if they oh, do another now, anime one, I might get another one. Yeah. No. Now, I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know that it's worth $100. The only reason that we didn't seem to have too big of an issue with, for, with it is because we were getting the autographed picture. We did get the Shumi pin. And like I said, you had a chance at a, um, a mint. There were 10 number 10s, which were all mint condition. So it gave you a chance. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'd probably pick another one up in the future too. Yeah, I mean, this is a newer pop too. So that's what's really cool. Yeah, so tell us what you think. Do you have any of the encapsulated pops? Um, what do you think about them? I mean, if it... I mean, we slab comic books. Why wouldn't we grade pops? The only, my only concern there is shipping it out and have, you know, between you and where it goes, what kind of condition is it going to arrive to them in? You know? Um, yeah. I mean, there's lots of different things to think about. But tell us what you think. Would you purchase one? Do you have any? Do you enjoy these? Comment down below. Let us know. Who's your um, favorite character from Naruto? There you go. Who's your favorite character from Naruto? So. Do you know uh, mine? Uh, Zoro. No, that's from One Piece. Oh. Kakashi. Kakashi. Okay. Oh, that's the dude with the... Yeah. Yeah. Um... All right, guys. Again, thank you for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed this video. We will link Sassy, uh, Bams for Arms, and Shumi. Oh, well, we don't really know Shumi. But we'll link Bams for Arms and Sassy down below for sure. Please go check them out. And again, let us know what you think about these. And it does have the PSA logo across the top. Yeah, these are, like I said, a lot cooler in person than I had imagined. Yeah. All right, guys. Have an awesome day. Bye.